Today, the temperature is 43 degrees, but three days ago, it was only seven, and it has been back and forth like this for over a week. On a pretty day, I love to walk out here to the sheep field. Even at 43 degrees, this is not a pretty day. What day? This much <laughs> is no joke. There is no way you're driving anything out here except the tractor. And while I appreciate the fact that the temperature is going up, this drastic change in temperature and pressure can be awfully hard on my friends. I just have got done checking out Ella, my ewe who gave birth 10 days ago. She's up in the barn. Upon taking her temperature, realized that she does have a slight fever. Her breathing is not just fast. Rapid breathing is very normal for sheep, but it's rapid, it's shallow, and it's very labored. The way it's making her whole body move when she does. So this is not at all normal. Brunel is due any day now with twins and you can see her breathing is rapid but it's not the same as Ella's. Ella's is rapid but it's labored. Her whole body, her head, everything is moving with it. And it's not just the fluctuation in temperature that's hard on them. The pressure changes are incredibly hard on not just the respiratory systems, but also their cardiovascular systems. But I came out here now to check on our friends in the field. Bull sheep do very well in cold temperatures, way better than in hot temperatures. It's the fluctuation that gets you. Hey guys, how are you? First thing I'm looking for is anyone who doesn't stay with the pack, anyone who didn't want to run up here with me, but they all did. Next thing I want to see is I want to watch them breathe. I want to be sure that it looks nice and normal. Everybody's following right along. No stragglers. That's a good sign. Everyone out in the field looks perfect. Paula was out here. I also wanted to check their water because even though they have heated waters, one thing that can still happen is these balls can get froze. We want to kind of got the two on the other sides busted loose. Good thing it's a waterproof boot. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Here now. Okay. Just a little stuck. Like a lot of stuck. It's the boot. Maybe if we take the whole foot out. Maybe. Okay. And. Oh my gosh, it's so stuck. Okay. I mean, but it's 43 degrees. It could be worse. <laughs> we got it. The leg's a little cold, but not bad. Anyways, you can get ice in. I'm still, oh, the boot is cold inside. <laughs> Just want to be sure that they're not fresh. <laughs> Maybe don't put all your body weight on it. <laughs> Since sheep are typically not very affected by cold weather. Now they are very intolerant to heat, but cold weather, that wool keeps them so warm. One of the things we did purposefully with our barn is we left it open on both ends. The open air is really great when you have something that could be contagious. With the pneumonia, it can or cannot be, but running a fever, it's better to assume that it is and take every precaution. The open air that's able to blow through our barn is one of the best preventatives that we have when it comes to anything they might have that's considered contagious. While we have them in the barn during lambing. 
Ella weighs about 175 pounds, and one of the more common antibiotics that you would use to treat pneumonia is Draxin. If you're gonna use Draxin for 175 pounds, it's about two ml, but we have Zactran on hand, which is also really good. We're gonna use four ml of Zactran to treat her pneumonia. Typically, one dose of Zactran is all it'll take to treat the pneumonia. But if I don't see improvement or she were to get worse, we would probably follow that up with a second dose of the Zactran. Okay, we're gonna give Miss Ella a shot of Zactran. She's breathing pretty hard and we think she has a little case of pneumonia. So hopefully this will knock it on out. Okay, we're gonna give Miss Ella a shot here. And we're going to put it under the skin. So what's that called, honey? Subcutaneous. All right. So we're going to spread the wool part so we can see the skin. Because on sheep, a lot of times, you'll stick it in the wool and not get underneath the skin. So you want to see where you're putting it at. So, let me see here. You pull back. And then we'll rub it in. It burns a little bit. She may shake her head, but that's how we give a shot. Last night, I definitely kept my eye on Ella because her breathing became more labored as the night went on. Most of the time when we have pneumonia, we give them the shot of antibiotics. They usually do not get worse. They'll just continue to improve, but I think Hers had gotten a little worse than I realized by the time she got her antibiotics. Sheep are the most amazing animals at masking their sickness. They are going to try to hide any weakness because in their minds, what they are built to do is protect themselves from being prey. So the worst thing in their minds that they can do is let on that anything is wrong. They hide it, they mask it, they are so, incredibly strong, so much stronger than the world gives them credit for most of the time because they push on and live their normal lives seemingly. While on the inside, they are fighting all kinds of things. So by the time that we actually see it, a lot of times it really has progressed more so than we think. I watched her last night for about three hours and her breathing just became more and more labored, uh, it became louder. So I came down here, I gave her a dose. It was an injection of dexamethasone. Now dexamethasone is a steroid and you absolutely never want to give this to one of your pregnant ewes. And the reason is it, it can induce labor, but it also can abort the fetus. But in Ella's case, she has already lambed. Dumpling here, it's 12 days old. So it was perfectly safe to give it to Ella. Steroids are going to sting. It is an intramuscular injection. They're going to sting. So the way I did it was I just gave her some grain in her bowl. She is very food driven. All of my sheep are. While she was eating, it's really easy just to go and give that right there in that back hip right into the muscle. Now Ella's about 175 pounds. So we did three ml of the dexamethasone within 40 minutes. She was laying down and resting and rested through most of the night. Now, I'm hoping today that the Zactran is really gonna kick in and start fighting this pneumonia and she's gonna start pulling out of it.